All right, y'all. I'm doing a um a test run. Okay, so I'm streaming from my stream yard, my TikTok, and my Instagram. <laughs> So I got about seven seconds counting down. If you can hear me, um, definitely let me know. But bear with me because, again, I'm doing a test run. So let's see what's going on here. All right. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. This is just a test run, y'all. Look like I got something going on, though, now. Let me hide this. All right, y'all. So, y'all know me as the Oracle G, right? Um, I've been doing intuitive readings for, I don't know, I lost count, right? Time is an illusion to me, so I don't remember. But however, I wanted to start, you know, um, just going live, right? I haven't done that in a while. I've been jumping on periodically to do lives. Um, but however, I really don't like to do them, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> but I got to kind of like branch out there and do some different stuff. But um, however, you guys already know how the intuitive readings go if you watch me um, all the time. So basically, um, if you don't and you don't know how it goes, flip your roles, take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing. I am tapping into the collective energy. Um, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I could be talking about you or somebody that's connected to you. Okay, so using discernment is going to be what's most important on this journey so let's see and also if you trigger by anything face your mirror not my comment section okay y'all now hopefully if you guys can hear me if you can hear me definitely let me know so i want to make sure i'm i'm not talking to myself this is you know, to my YouTube folk, my Facebook people's Instagram. Can you hear me? <laughs> I know my TikTok folk can hear me. All right. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for helping me with this collective energy update. Show me what I need to see. Thank you for using me as a messenger. And so it is. All right, y'all. I'm probably only going to be on for probably like maybe 10 minutes. I just wanted to do a little test run, connect with y'all. Um, I am doing an intuitive reading on Sunday. It's called Intuitive Sunday. So definitely tap in. I will be um, using my stream yard so I'll be able to hit all of my social medias. And of course, I got to go on TikTok separate from a different phone. But however, I will be streaming on Sunday. I believe the time is four o'clock. Also, you guys, I do offer $1 a minute readings. You can go to um, my website to check that out. And I also have a Cash App special too as well. So the card that came out was Grove of Unity. So y'all can see that. And basically with the Grove of Unity card, it talks about um, binding energies um, together, right? So you want to foster an interconnectedness of harmony amongst all beings. And it's so crazy because that's what I feel like I'm trying to do now. Okay, so I'm trying to bring everybody together from all my social media networks um, so that we can foster harmony amongst ourselves and amongst the collective, right? The people that are connected to us in some kind of way because we are here literally to help raise the vibrations of those who are around us right so as that's what i feel i feel like i am called to do as a light worker um but show me something else here so it's all about nurturing the bonds of your friendships, you know, being together, working together, helping each other. Sometimes we tend to stray away from that because we're so consumed in our own daily lives that we forget, you know, we, we got to help uplift our brothers and sisters, those who want 
to be uplifted, okay? Because I know a lot of people, they want to stay stuck and they want to stay low vibrational. But however, you got people around you that are literally um, interested in growing and evolving. Hey, help, okay? The next card says be in the here and now. And so with the be in the here and now card, it's, it's saying practice mindfulness to be present in the moment and to gain insight. You got to nurture your own self first and foremost before you can help somebody else. OK, so if you are not balanced yourself, I encourage you to get balanced um, because you got a you got a yeah, extensive, great journey that's ahead of you. OK, now. So make sure you're taking care of yourself in the process and, and, and staying in the here and now being pre um, present and being balanced. OK, so the scales of balance card came out. This is about your own inner balance, your own inner peace. It's like when you're in the midst of some type of chaos or if you're in the midst of some stuff that's going on and it just feels like it's out of your control. You got to learn how to maintain that inner harmony. OK, during it all, because at the end of the day, because of your intuition or ours, I might say, it's like we have this knowing, okay, that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be good. You don't have to allow what's happening in your 3D world to disrupt you um, or disrupt your energy um, because it's already taken care of, especially if you prayed about it, if you set your intentions, um, and if you're listening to your intuition, right? Because your intuition is literally a direct, a direct link from source God, okay? So keep that in mind. When you're going through something, right? If you say you trust the divine or the universe, however it resonates for you, then guess what? Trust it. When you when you worry, you're saying you don't trust that what you need is going to be taken care of. Um, so make sure you are maintaining or seeking some type of equilibrium in your life, whether it's your love life, it's your career, um, your family, your projects. And on your own. Okay. So. It's time to take some time. Alone. Alright. So you may want. To just go in hermit mode. Okay. Because you got to gain some type of new perspective here. Something needs to shift. Is how I'm hearing it. Um, why does. My collective need to gain. A new perspective. The Wheel of Fortune, and then the Four of Cups. And so the Four of Cups pretty much is saying, like, something, you may feel discontent, okay? You're not happy about something. You could be focusing on something that's no longer serving you. Um, and you're missing the hidden blessings. It's like you have these cups that you may feel like is empty, and it's like, woe is me. Oh, my God. I'm bored. Why isn't this happening? Da, 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 da. You know, that energy, right? Um, but if you turn around, behind you is a whole nother cup that got all the rainbow. Look, look at the rainbow coming from it. <laughs> a whole nother cup that's full, that's abundant, that has everything you need. That will definitely lead to your happiness, right? Will definitely lead to some type of progress in your journey. Because when the wheel turns, hey, guess what? It, it gets better. OK, so it's going it, you go through cycles. Um, it could be good and it could be bad and you can get through the bad by how you perceive it. OK, so if you shift your perspective, then guess what? Then whatever you're going through, you can get through it a whole lot faster. You know what they used to say? And they probably still do say it, but it's like um, you can determine how fast you get through a certain process. OK, so if you stay in a state of trusting, if you are um, keeping your joy, if you're focusing on the things that you actually want and desire instead of the things that you don't want to happen or looking at the stuff that's not happening. OK, so that keeps us stuck. But you're trying to move into um, a cycle of your life where things are getting better, literally. So it's going to take you to actually do some inner work here to bring that inner balance to yourself. Okay, so that's why you're being told, look, it's time for you to take some time to be alone, to get a new perspective um, so that you can get the clarity that you need to keep moving forward here on your journey. Show me um, what the energy is like overall for the collective. You got to be patient. Okay, patience, patience, young grasshoppers. All right, you got to let go of... 
whatever it is that's keeping you in this state of it's like you're not balanced you're not balanced somebody's not whoever's connected to you that could be it somebody's not balanced and it's like you gotta relax and just simply just let go okay because you already have your guides that's around you that's helping you like literally trying to help you it's a peaceful presence that's around you trying to help you but of course you gotta be open to receive the help and you also have to ask because of our own free will Literally, the divine, your angelic gods, ancestors, however, they're not going to intervene unless you say, look, I need help. OK, um, and it's OK because they help us on our journey. We don't got to do it alone. But however, patience is what's required um, and balance is what's required for you in this next phase. OK, all tied up comes in the reverse. So whatever the drama is, whether this is internal or external, I'm definitely feeling like. You know, once you bring that balance to yourself, you're going to be able to move forward. But let's talk about the drama because, you know, it's always fun. But I'm I'm really here for real to um, help you guys to evolve. Not really be stuck and caught up in the drama, but hey, it's a part of life, right? So let's see. Tell me about this major drama. The devil card comes in the reverse position, y'all. Mm. See something here. All right, so um, egos could be in the way. That's why you got to be patient. Divine timing kicks in when the ego is in the way. So that devil energy is literally the ego, okay? And um, and so. Call your power back to you. That's what I just heard. Because you could be experiencing something where there's a disconnect between you and someone you care about, um, a separation, some type of domestic conflict or disharmony, whatever it may be, right? You like, I'm I'm not happy, right? You can see that with the four cups. I'm not happy. <laughs> but right now, I keep hearing reclaim your power. You've given your power away. You've given your power away. Tell me more about that. It's like you were trying to invest in something and you weren't getting, you weren't getting the same thing that you were putting in back or you're not getting the same thing right like i said i don't know what timeline you guys are on um but however i got the six of pentacles in the reverse and then the seven of pentacles in the reverse so if it's not equally reciprocated no matter what it is you gotta pull back because if it's not an equal give and take you throwing you upsetting the balance Especially the balance of the universe, too, on top of that, right? And your own energy. So you're going to have to get back again. What that card say? Get back um, in alignment, okay? Get back in alignment with self. Because you're investing into something that is not showing any type of progress, okay? Take a step back, for real, and just really just refocus and reflect so you can get some clarity here. Sometimes we like to plant seeds on... Um, this land that's not I can't think of the word it's like we trying to play we trying to plant seeds on cursed land that's the only thing I keep coming up with in my mind right and that's why you're not seeing your efforts pay off okay so that's why you're being told hey it might be time for you to you know take a step back for a moment and be on your own all right because then now this will allow you to bring that balance back to yourself all right, so that you um, can get back on track here. Yeah, so that you can reconnect with your own inner wisdom. Okay, now, what is happening? Um, it sounds like my son just got on his video game. So if y'all hear him in the background, and I ain't really shut my door like I should have. 
the door to value is in the reverse. So you may feel like it's some type of delays or um, or the door is closing. Whatever it is. Yes, on fertile ground. Thank you so much, Logan. Um, whatever it is that you feel like you're having delays in, like in your abundance in some kind of way. It's like you may feel like it's just not coming through. Ah, he shut the door. He must have heard me. <laughs> you may feel like it's not coming through. But let me see something here. Clarify the door to value. It's like a piece of string or something. I'm sorry, y'all. It's distracting the heck out of me. Tell me about the door to value in the reverse. Like, what? Mm. You reached the peak of something in your story. So that's why you're being told to go into solitude, take a step back. Um, <sighs> elevation requires separation. So celebrate your achievements, everything that you have done so far, right? Because you literally are at the peak of your mountain. And this is a mountain of mastery, y'all. Okay, so this is this is where you're getting ready to ascend into the next phase of your life. So this is why you're being told, you know what? You got to give up control, right? See, be, see behind the veil, which means you need to go and, and reflect so that you can connect with your intuition. Okay, and this is what's going to help you get to the next stage in your journey. All right, so we're mastering. This is what we're doing on our journey. We're mastering self-love. Um... We're working on our own independence, okay, so that we won't have to be dependent on no one or any situation, governments, whatever, right? We're working on being whole in the process. So a lot of times when we keep encountering these cycles that don't seem like they're good cycles, the best cycles, um, or, or karma, for say, is because we are not learning something. And so we keep repeating it and we keep going into the same crap over and over again. And so that's a part of the lessons that we have in life to help us to reach that point of mastery, self-mastery. And if you're not reaching that, it's because you're not learning the lessons. You're still stuck in a holding place. This is why divine timing has kicked in and why you're being told, hey, be patient. OK, because there's still some things that may need to be worked on in order for you to be able to move forward and get the get. How can I put it? Be able to move forward and get what you truly desire for yourself, right? Because what comes out is the heart desire. And I forgot this card that came out. Okay, so this card basically is saying you got to know what you truly want. What is it that you want? What do you foresee for yourself? Whether it's tomorrow, <laughs> next week, next year, what do you want? And once you get clear about that, then it's going to come to you. Stay authentic and stay in.